Hi there, we are back with a new tutorial for Blender. In this one, we learn how to create a wavy text effect with Blender and geometry nodes. This tutorial was inspired by a tutorial from CG Shortcuts. Remove the default cube at a text object. Make it center aligned. Choose a free font from Google Fonts. Extrude our font. We don't use bevel here as we can do it later on. Add a camera. Set it to orthographic. Find the right angle as I do. Now the camera is set. Let's duplicate our text. Convert the text object into mesh. As you can see, the topology is not right. Let's add the wave modifier to see why the topology matters. As you can see, we don't get our desired effect. Let's apply the changes to our shape and also set origin to geometry. It's all because of the lack of enough faces on our mesh. We can fix this by using a remesh modifier. But as you can see, the viewport is super slow. There is another way to fix this by adding some cuts. Just make sure you also make a cut inside our letter. Otherwise, you will get weird behavior when using wave modifier or geometry nodes. Select the all edges in the middle and bevel them. Make sure you increase the number of segments
I just wanted to show you two different ways to fix the topology issue, but we won't use the wave modifier for this tutorial, as we can create the same effect with your three nodes. By joining my Patreon channel and become a fan, you can download these scenes for free with the all asset. Now everything is ready for geometry nodes. We want to affect the position of our text object with a wave texture. To do so, we add the set position node at the wave texture nodes. We use map range node to define how much the wave texture can affect our text position. Then we use a combine XYZ node to tell Blender how the text gets affected. I change the direction of our wave texture and combine XYZ. Now let's set the sum values. Everything looks good. Let's add a subdivision modifier. We set the mode of our subdivision modifier to simpler in order to prevent the subdivision modifier from affecting our geometry. Everything looks great now. Let's emit the face value of our wave texture. To do so, make sure the keyframes are linear from settings. You can also save this preset. Our animation frame rate is 24. So we only need 24 frames to have a looping animation. At one frame, set the face value to zero. At 24 frame, set the face value like what you see, the end and start point are the same, so we keep only 23 frames as one frame and 23 frames are the same. Now we have an animation which is loops every 24 frames. We can export only 24 frames and duplicate it a few times to have a long animation and also it will decrease the render time a lot. part was not supposed to be on the YouTube version. But as a bonus, I wanted to show you quickly how you can set the lights.
rendering is a bit slow as I'm recording the scene and export another tutorial for Blender. Sorry about that. We use a three-point light system at an area light. Put the area light on the left side of our text. Change the direction of the area light. As you can see, the key light is good. For the material, I used subsurface. Subsurface radius is very important here, as it defines how much the light can penetrate through our text. The XYZ values of subsurface will separate the penetration of red, blue, and green colors. We use uh, higher value for red and use a low value for blue and green as pink is so close to red. we add another area light and put it in front of our text. This light is going to lighten the front side of our text. for the right side which remain dark. We can either use a plane or another area light. In photography, photographers use a whiteboard. To get rid of harsh shadows, we will do the same at a plane. assign it the material, the brightness of the plane can affect the right side. I use a gray base color for the plane as I don't want to get rid of the shadows completely. For the tutorial I use the combination of wave and noise texture to create a phone like texture for bump. You can download the Blender file from my Patreon to experiment with the material shader I've used.
Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please like and share it with your friends. To download the Blender file for free, you can use the link in the description and join my Patreon.